Hello, this is Peter for your favorite emission, 2 minutes for the Earth. <laughs> Today we are going to speak a very important subject, endangered animal and particularly pandas. Now we meet with Brian, our reporter in Washington DC, where people are currently demonstrating for the exactly protection better. of pandas. At this moment I am with two demonstrators. Ryan, his favorite animal is panda, and Daniel, he is an ecologist. Hello sir. Hello. So, why are you in the street today? We are in the street today because the panda is an endangered species. Indeed, because of the deforestation, the panda have less and less bamboo to eat. So, if we don't find a solution to resolve this problem, we can be sure that it will be the end of this species and, as a result, an issue for the biodiversity. The Chinese have found a solution. They paralyze pandas to move them into a bigger forest. Mm. So what are your claims? We want more natural reserves so that panda can live in good living conditions and with enough food. We also hope to sensibilize the new generation on issues linked on the deforestation. Mm. Yes. And concretely, how do you plan to raise the awareness of the population? We will keep doing action to show your a pleasure until we get what we want. And this action will be non-violent actions. Do you think that people, and very especially, react to your approach? Yes, of course. Thanks to social networks and new technology, as display panels in cities and uh, video conferences, etc. Also, we'll uh, do advertising to adverse people on koalas condition. Okay, and you? So people could follow our action and organization website and www.endangeredpanda at life.com. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Bye. No problem. Thank Brian for this interesting interview. To conclude, Chinese have already created reserve with bamboo to feed pandas but progress we make to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of your show. Thank you, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for another appeal.